Hey guys, um, today I wanted to talk to y'all about how to have yourself a good year, slash a good start to your year, a good start to your year, well mainly a good year, um, because some of y'all, like me, um, may have had either a bad year or a not so great year, or semi good, semi bad year last year, and so we're going to talk about some of the ways how you could improve on how to make this 2011 or any other year a good year. My first tip is don't settle. Don't settle for anything less than what you're expecting. Like don't go with your I should want this. Like like basically like don't settle for a life that looks good on paper. Like don't settle for what anything would want for like what anyone would want you to want. Like for example there's like this career, you're like after, you want it. It's something you want. But other people want you to go ahead and just keep on with the job you have. Because, I mean, it's a good job, but it's not what you want. You're not happy with it. So I would say take a risk. Go for that job you want. Go for something you really want. Don't settle for anything less than what you want. It's okay to dream big. And sometimes... Yes, sometimes like we fail at certain things, but it's not necessarily failing. It's just like a step that we missed in our life. Like it's just something that wasn't for us, but hey, at least we tried to do it. And if it doesn't work out, that's fine. Just go on to your next step or your next part of what you want. And like just don't settle. Cuz who wants to settle, like, for anything less than what they want? Honestly, nobody really. Unless you're one of those people that are afraid of taking a big step in your life. Because I know, personally, I'm one of those people who's just, like, afraid to, like, go on to the next thing. I'm afraid of change. But I know I have to constantly change because change is all around us. And I'm one of those people who, if they feel like they're settling for less... I feel like I did nothing good or I or I feel like sort of this empty feeling and it'll just like gnaw at me constantly. It'll just be like, ugh, like in the back of my mind I'll be like, oh, I should have went for this. I should have did this. I should have. I should have. Don't, don't go with I should have. Just don't go with I should have. Go with, oh, I could do this, so I'm going to do this. I, okay, I'm going to start with something small. Like, let's say you constantly go to McDonald's and you want to lose weight. And there's, um, like a subway down the block or something. And you constantly go to McDonald's every single day, like routine. You, and you constantly think to yourself, ugh. I should really quit McDonald's. I should really go to Subway and have myself something healthy. Well, instead of thinking that every day, just turn your car around and go for Subway. Go have that healthy meal. Go eat yourself a veggie burger or something instead of that Big Mac. Because, I mean, at the moment, when you're settling for something, when you're settling for less, it may seem like a good idea at the time. But then you think, wow, this isn't what I really wanted. I wanted this other thing. I wanted something more than this. I expected something more. So instead of just waiting and having nothing really interesting happen to you in your settled life, go for something more. Just go for it. Like, you know? The second tip... I would say is don't take no for an answer slash don't take it too personally okay let's say you're going out on like a business thing like you're trying to find the perfect job for you well not the perfect because there is no perfect job but um you're trying to find a job for you and you turn in your resume to all these people and you never get these callbacks until one day Someone calls you back. They call you in. And they just look at, you're sitting down with them. They're interviewing you. 
they look at your resume, uh, resume, then they look at you, and they're looking like that, and they just go, sorry, you're not the person for me. Like, don't, without being too pleading, like, too desperate, say, wait a minute, um, just give me one chance, all I need is just one chance to prove myself, and if that chance does not go right, then obviously this wasn't for me, but just give me one time to prove myself. And just ask them in like a strong, confident voice. The whole time you're saying things, just remain strong and confident about yourself. Don't like sit down or stand up like all with your shoulders slumped over. Be with your shoulders straight, your back straight. Like just have this confidence pose. And when you look look at them, don't be like uh looking away constantly. Don't be like well, Look them straight in the eye and tell them, I need this chance. So, please, just let me have this time to prove myself. And, like, let's say you're interning to be, like, like, let's say, hmm, like, a journalist or something. And the person who you're interning for or whatever, they... They need someone who's quick and fast to report the latest news on stuff. So prove yourself to them by like going out there, getting something hard hitting, getting something impacting, get something good and bring it back to them and show them that you deserve this chance. And if they say no, don't take it personally. Don't be like, oh, well. It was my fault. I shouldn't have said this. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, wow. Like, don't sulk over it. Don't read into it too much. Just be like, okay, well, that wasn't for me then. And keep on searching, and then you'll find the right one. But don't take no too personally. Like, first, like, first what I would say of the step number two of no. Um, first... Ask them, well, ask them, like, with a strong, confident voice, and just look them in the eye and say, I need this chance. Just give me time to prove myself, and I can do this, and just go with it. And just, if they say, okay, well, do this, do that, or something, then do it. Don't be like, oh, well, I'm not really trained in that field. Who cares? Just follow up with it, because at least you're getting a chance. And the second part, if they do tell you no, just be like, okay, just brush it off. Be like, okay, well, that wasn't for me. There's something better in store for me. The number three tip is hustle. Hustle, hustle, hustle. If you want to get out there in this big, wide world and get yourself a top spot somewhere or get yourself at least noticed in your community or something, you got to earn it. Got it. Earn it. Nothing comes for free. Anyone will tell you that. Nothing. Absolutely nothing comes for free. You gotta work hard if you want something. Nothing is ever handed to you on a silver platter. So, let's say... Okay, since I've been using, like, careers and stuff, I'm gonna do something in school, since... I don't know if some of y'all are in school, but... Um, let's do something in school. Let's say, um, in a few weeks you have, like, a big test or something. And, or, you want to be a class president. Yeah, we'll go with that. You want to be a class president. So, here's what you, you make a list of what you need to do. That's what I would do. First, make a list. Second, do everything on that list you need to do. And, like I said, don't take no for an answer. Don't degrade yourself. Don't be like, oh, this is too hard. I can't do this. Um, ask yourself, like, ask yourself, well, if I want to be class president, what do I have to do? How do I behave in order to get this? What do, what do I need to do to show 
my classmates or whoever that I can be their class president. Well, just work your butt off. Do, because I know teachers may have a part in that too, or principals or something like that. Um, do all your homework. Do homework. Stay on top of all your work. Be that friendly, kind person that greets people in the hallway. And I'm not saying, like, be like, oh, hey, like, all fake and everything. Be real about yourself. Just do what you have to do to get it. Okay. Okay, now, since I don't, I totally lost where I was going with that whole class president thing, we're going to go with careers. Because I'm trying to find myself a job, personally. But anyways, um, let's say you want to get promoted to, like, some, you want to get promoted to a new position or get a raise. Ask yourself, what do I have to do to get myself noticed to get that promotion or how do I show my boss that I deserve this raise? Ask yourself that. Then as soon as you've got that in your mind, keep on telling, keep on asking yourself that until you come up with new ways. And do it responsibly. Don't play none of that dirty work because dirty work will get you nowhere. It'll just, at first, with dirty work, you'll get the top, but then, whew, go straight to the bottom. But work responsibly. Do it safely. Whatever you have to do, just do it in a way that suits you. And do it so and do it in a way so that you'll have time for yourself. Don't stress yourself out too much. Work hard. Be responsible. And don't just go along with the flow of things. Find a way to shine. Find a way to make yourself noticeable to your boss or to whoever, to your teacher, to whoever. Just find a way to make yourself shine. And you need to prioritize because if you can't priori prioritize, then forget it. Like, find a way to manage your time. And don't be like, if you want to get that promotion or whatever, don't be like going out one night and be like, woohoo, I'm here partying with my girlfriends, woohoo. Don't be like that, then the next day going to work all like, oh gosh, I shouldn't have drank that much. Oh, I shouldn't have stayed out that late. Ugh. Don't do anything that's going to cost you what you want. Find, just find a way, like, I read in the last song, because as you know, I'm still reading the last song, but there's this quote that says, he was ordinary in a world that wanted extraordinary or something like that instead of just going along just find a way to make yourself noticeable get what you want you deserve it and finally the last thing I would say is you're not perfect so don't try to be like think about it all those mistakes you have made in your life all those regrets or whatever everything in the past they made you who you are today if none of if none of it wouldn't happen you wouldn't be who you are today no one's perfect no one can ever be perfect and I mean if you were perfect I think personally I think it would suck because you'd be boring and you'd be like miss perfection and just get boring and tiring so don't try to be like me like like last year a lot of bad things happened to me like my granny passed away um financial issues and other things honestly that those things made me who they are made me who I am today my granny's death it made me realize that life is too short to spend your whole life worrying and that our life could be gone in any minute now so we should be thankful for what we have and the financial problems that we were going through it made me realize that you have to be careful with how you spend your money you have to be careful with money like save some spend some half and half like save some for bills or things you may need like save some for put aside bills the necessities then save the rest for like clothes or whatever 
like for clothes, jewelry, stuff you want. And then the other part of it, just spend, like separate, separate your money into two things, like save, spend. And then if you're feeling good or you want to treat yourself, use some of that spend money, but save some aside. And let's see what else has happened to me. Well, a lot has happened to me. A lot of personal issues that I don't want to talk about. But the point is, all of those have made me who I am. And quite frankly, it's all made me a stronger person. See, we go through these experiences to become who we are and to help better us. And honestly, along the way, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to fall. Some of us will fall hard, but you know what? Just get right back up again. You'll make it through. Trust me. You will. And if you need any support, just look at all your friends. Look at your family. You have all those support systems. Anyways, I hope, I hope some of y'all can use some of these tips to help have yourself a good year. And I hope some of y'all will memorize these tips and use them. Anyways, bye.